Gaming Bolt presents 15 hardest difficulty modes that will make you lose your mind in frustration. When us hardcore gamers want to feel some real pride and accomplishment, we like to crank up that difficulty and let our skills really shine through against the best of what that developer can put in our path. But there are some challenges that just shouldn't be conquered, and the attempt alone seems silly sometimes. These 15 titles really made us lose our minds in frustration trying to conquer them. Mein Lieben, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus Wolfenstein 2 rocked the shooter landscape by being a tight, narrative-focused game where they wanted you to make America Nazi-free again and showing that shooters can have a place without a tacked-on multiplayer. Wolfenstein 2 already makes you work for it, but if you want to finish that achievement list, you need to take on the controller-shatteringly frustrating Mein mode, translating to My Life. As it says, the player has a single life to complete the entire game, no save scumming allowed, and the enemies are capable of goose-stepping all over the otherwise hardy Terror Billy. Ultra Nightmare Doom the granddaddy to the last entry, Doom 2016's Ultra Nightmare is a one-life test that Bethesda swears internal QA was unable to conquer. If you fancy a walk through the valley of hell and think you can come out on the other side, Doom's Ultra Nightmare will make you prove just that. Normal Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn when players of the Wii turn-based strategy classic Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn return to the land of Tellius to check on the world Ike and crew left behind after the GameCube prequel, they probably felt that they could at least handle normal. But a translation error left what the Japanese version were calling normal and hard, labeled overseas for unsuspecting players as easy and normal, which left North American fans in agony as they lost unit after unit. Infinite Climax, Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2 The bewitching gameplay of Bayonetta might have carried most skilled players through the first several difficulty modes, but the Infinite Climax modes in both Bayonetta titles will make lots of players lose their cool. They start by setting the enemies to their aggressive hard mode difficulty, making staggering them harder, remixing encounters to put them up against harder and more angels more frequently, and in the case of Bayonetta 1, disabling the witch time mechanic completely. Players would have to work for it to get Bayonetta through the infinite climax. Master Ninja, Ninja Gaiden 2 Ninja Gaiden 2 was no slouch on the normal difficulties, but those who brave Master Ninja will either have to triumph over the massive hordes of the toughest enemies in the game, backed up by constantly respawning eagle-eyed archers and mages, and maybe a buffed boss character or two, and smarter AIs for all of them, or return to being the ninja dogs that they are. Classic Mode – The Evil Within 2 The Evil Within 2 won't hold your hand, especially if you care to take another run at it on the unlocked Classic Mode. Comparable to the Nightmare Mode, which already challenges players with harsh AI, more resistant foes, no auto-aim, and forces them to fully engage with the crafting system, but Classic also takes away any upgrades and gives the player 7 save chances throughout the entire game. Make them count. Fusion Mode – Metroid Samus Returns The last Metroid is in captivity, in your house. Players who weren't satisfied by the challenging combat of Metroid Samus Returns in the packed-in hard mode could enjoy a little bit of with their squishy Metroid amiibo unlocking Fusion Mode. More than just some fun fan service of a GBA classic, players would have to conquer an even harder version of the game with as much vulnerability as the light fusion suit afforded the bounty hunter during the game. Master Mode – The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild The wilds of fallen Hyrule are a cruel place, what with Ganon's forces everywhere and Link beginning pretty fragile himself. Master Mode, part of the Expansion Pass content, allows the player a single save file only, but also switches up enemy tactics, grows every enemy in the game by at least one level, even creating a new level for this mode, and features enemies regenerating health should you leave them alone. Link more than ever has to use his head and environment to see through some brutal encounters instead of hyying in sword drawn. European Extreme Metal Gear Solid 3 that swinging 60s theme song is entrancing, but Metal Gear Solid 3's European Extreme difficulty mode is hardly a dream, but a nightmare. 
Would-be players need an intricate understanding of the game's systems and enemy behaviors in order to get around super smart AI, alert to every sound. One alert, and you're done. You have to be a true ghost to finish this mode. Dark Souls series, New Game Plus 6. Have you not quite had You Died burned into your retina hard enough that you see it when you close your eyes? Well, Dark Souls is known for its hard but fair difficulty already, and players in search of even better gear can challenge an increasing series of New Game Plus challenges that further buff the enemies that stand in your way. The games top out at New Game Plus 6, at which point if you've reached it, it's safe to say, got good. The Last of Us Grounded Mode Just in case The Last of Us wasn't depressing enough for you, a layer of difficulty might just truly make you feel the last of your sanity. Upping the ante from the hardest mode, Grounded removes those little gameplay crutches like a HUD, and you better believe the X-Ray Listen mode is gone too. Ammo and materials are sparser than ever on top of that, meaning you should plan every step. XCOM Enemy Unknown Impossible Iron Man A conglomeration of two modes, the turn-based alien-repelling strategy game XCOM Enemy Unknown has an impossible mode which unleashes the full force of a cruel alien AI who can and will mow down your tiny starting squad within a few turns if allowed to. The Iron Man modifier limits this to a single save file, keeping you fully honest in your torture as you can't revert to even redo a single turn. Metro 2033 Redux Ranger Hardcore Life in the Metro is hardly life at all, and those playing on Ranger Hardcore will truly feel the harshness of the mutated wilds. The heads-up display is gone. Both you and your enemies can die with a shot or two, and supplies are almost non-existent, encouraging stealth. Halo series Legendary If you're going to finish the fight, best do it cautiously. Legendary has been the center of many weekends spent in frustration over an Xbox Live party, needing persistence to triumph over the increased hordes of Covenant that will stand in your way, and sometimes just a lot of patience as you piece together the puzzle. Fallout 4 Survival Mode Truly grueling, the survival mode added to Fallout 4 adds in that layer of realism that would make most sane gamers ask, what's the point? Survival not only brings back the food and drink requirements of New Vegas, but the compass now doesn't tell you a whole lot. Fast travel is gone, and you can only save through in-game sleeping. Your body won't quite heal itself anymore either, so have a stim pack or go see a doctor. You also aren't Superman, so stealth around or have some armor. Survival mode really underlines one important point. War never changes. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.